What up, Sneaker Gang Squad? I'm here at the Ross Boss. About to go in right now, see what we can find for today's show. About to hit y'all up in a bit. Just got off work. About to work on that grind. You know how we do. Because the heat don't stop. We got some shoes today. About to show y'all some heat. So see what's up. Let me go into the Ross Boss, see what we can find. It's all good. Let me know. Pay back. All right, peace. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay. Sneaker Squad, back at it again, man, with the brand new video today. Yes, sir. We are back on the YouTube grind. It is great, great, great to be back for you guys. All right. I'm wearing all blue, so let's check out the drip. Got the Nike shirt, got the chain. You know how we do with the blue watch. Gotta look good for my sneaker gang squad. Yes, sir. All right, we got some heat back on the show today for the grind. Yes, it is sneakers. Sneakers, sneakers, sneakers. What we talk on about this show. Sneakers, heat, fire, what people love. Now, I also got a great t-shirt of one of my greatest rapper, rappers and idols. I looked up to him as a kid growing up. A t-shirt and a movie to talk about if you know this movie. And before we get to today's show and all the great stuff, how my Sneaker Gang Squad has been doing. I miss you guys. I've been back from vacation, trying to get back on the hustle grind, which is work. Uh, got some stuff in my life kind of going on that I'm trying to adjust to. Uh, some a couple of things going on trying to adjust to. But I got some big things coming up for you guys on the channel, which I am really, really, really excited about for my sneaker gang squad. Man, you do not know. Now, as for the big video, I've been promising you guys in the kitchen cooking with my boy Colt, the chef. Uh, he has been really busy. He's got some family stuff problems going on, so I don't wish to speak about it or say what he's going through. It's a tough time. All I can say, let's pray for him and keep him in prayers and his family. And I hope it all is well, man. I love you. God bless you. You and your mom uh, in that situation. My heart goes out to you guys. I love you. Stay safe, man. Um, he will be back in the kitchen with me. Uh, well, he will be in the kitchen with me once he handles his personal stuff that's been going on and we will have the gumbo video coming up for you guys as soon as we can when he handles a situation that he needs to handle in his life as for uh my sister the talented Alyssa love with the cologne video we were going to shoot that video in port a for you guys uh but she's been really busy with some stuff coming up and then in port a she got kind of sick and sunburned so she really couldn't want to be on camera so it's fine but right now, she's got a lot of stuff coming up, and so she ain't got time, so I understand. Like I said again, when she has time, we will get that collab and promise to get it out for you guys as soon as we can, the cologne video. But right now, she's been really busy. So, very busy, talented woman. Hard to get a hold of, like I said. But we also got some great stuff coming up on this channel that I'm excited and really excited about for you guys. Uh, my cousin, Johnny, who's a big sneakerhead like me exactly myself me and him were big sneaker heads we always love collecting sneakers and we're big sneaker heads so this sunday not this not today because today's sunday the following sunday i have a special guest coming on my channel who's a biggest sneaker head like your boy jay sneaker squad here and he will bring me not one not two not three not four but five Five, count them guys, five pairs of sneakers on this channel. I'll have one myself, but he'll have five. Five pairs of sneakers to show on this channel, and I'll have one. So five and one, that's six pairs of sneakers. That is a J Sneaker Squad exclusive. So if you guys are willing to tune in on that video next Sunday, y'all better tune in because your boy is going to do it big six pairs of sneakers on this channel some might be nike some might be adidas some might be jordans we do not know it's a big exciting event next sunday so if you want to tune in on six pairs sneaker gang squad six pairs of sneakers on your boy jay sneaker squad channel 
please tune in next Sunday. Check it out. It's going to be an awesome video for you guys. I'm really, really excited to get this going on next Sunday with my cousin Jay Johnny. So I hope he'll be, he'll be down here with me. We're going to do that exclusive video for you guys. So have that coming up and next Sunday. Big happy. So be happy. I'm very happy for that video coming up soon. Let me get a swig of my water and we'll get to the next stuff we're going to talk about. I know y'all looking at me like, is he drinking liquor? That's not liquor. He better not be drinking on this channel. Nah, it's water. It's spring water. Uh, I love this water. It's very... I got it in Port A, so I bought like four cases of it, and I love it. I just water all day. It's in my fridge. I have like five of them in there, but uh, it's good water. Um, so I got to go to work out with my Sarah trainer at 9 o'clock, so I'm trying to get this video done so I can go work out with Sarah, and then I got to take my homeboy Aaron behind the camera uh, home too. So other than that, I want to say thank you guys for tuning in for today. We also want to talk about the NBA, the Phoenix Suns, and the Milwaukee Bucks. Last night was game five, or, yeah, five. This Tuesday will be game six, and if game six, the Bucks do not win, we might have a game seven. So comment at the bottom, Sticky Game Squad, who you're going for the NBA Finals. Are you going for the Milwaukee Bucks, for Giannis Atatacumbo, or are you going for the Phoenix Suns and CP3 Chris Paul? Man, that also was awesome game five. Giannis was on fire. Drew Holiday stealing the ball from Devin Booker. Throws the alley-oop. Giannis comes out of nowhere. And Kaya Pow dunk. It was an amazing game last night. I was at my brother's house. We were watching the game. Me and my brother spending some brotherly time eating some chicken salad Arby's. And we were watching an amazing basketball game yesterday. Shh, I, uh, to my brother Axel, I love you, bro. I hope you feel better on your foot because he had, fell, had a little accident and fell off a ladder and hurt his foot, a nerve in his foot. So it's kind of swollen, but I hope you feel better, bro. I love you. Uh, thoughts and prayers go out to you. Get better, man. And uh, it was amazing to see the basketball game yesterday. We saw a great game. Uh, it was a great basketball game. So those of you, I'm actually going for the Milwaukee Bucks because the Phoenix Suns, had beaten my LA Lakers and got my Lakers out. So I was really like, Urgh. so <laughs> I'm going for the Milwaukee Bucks, but Giannis is playing very well. And I didn't think Giannis was come back and actually win these games that they've been doing the Bucks. So shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks. I hope Giannis gets the big W in game six, but knowing how the NBA is. And if the NBA finals is the most watched televis televised vision, visual game on TV, since football has not started quite yet, but we got training camp coming up for football pretty soon. And shout out to the Dallas Cowboys, which will be on Hard Knocks this year. So if you're watching Hard Knocks, if you're a fan of Hard Knocks, go ahead and watch Hard Knocks this year. The Dallas Cowboys will be on Hard Knocks this year. We're back on the Hard Knocks channel, so I'm really excited about that too. But yes, um, shout out to uh, Giannis and, and the Milwaukee Bucks pulling it off last night on Game 5. Game 6 will be this Tuesday. And if possibly happens, if the Bucks don't pull it off, there will be a game seven. They have not announced it yet, but I think the NBA, if uh, so far, if it, this finals series, I think it is the most watched televised game right now because there's really nothing big in sports right now but the finals. And you got two teams that no one has never seen in the NBA finals. A lot of people were excited. And so two great teams that haven't been in the finals, a lot of people watching. It's most see, must see television. So I think the NBA might put on a game seven just to make more money. If not, Giannis close it out in game five, six. So let's do it, Bucks. Win it because you be, uh, so they can beat the Suns because they beat my Lakers. It would be a good win for Giannis's first ring. If not, if Chris CP3 puzzles it off and they go game seven, we'll find out when game seven is and we'll announce it on this channel. But other than that, Sneaker Gang Squad, let's get to the heat what we want to talk about on this channel now if you guys have seen the movie well it's i don't want to say it's, it's like a love movie but it's like um well it's kind of like a love movie but it, it, back in the day two great actors got together well seeing uh artists slash actors got together 
and put their great talents on the big screen to make this movie. Now, if you looked at a great actress and a great actor also were a singer and a rapper. Now, do you get where I'm coming from? <laughs> now, two great actors and actresses put their great uh, thing performances on the big screen in 1993. July 23rd, 1993, the movie Poetic Justice. It's kind of like a love movie, but kind of like a drama love movie story because it's kind of coming to the big screen of uh, these two people actually showing that they come from different places in life but they also fell for one another so it's a great movie if you haven't seen the movie poetic justice it's a must cop in your collection stick gang squad that's right tupac shakur and janet jackson got together on the big screen and made the movie poetic justice if you don't have this movie in your collection something's wrong with you sneaker gang squad it's a must cop must cop now, as for the, my boy Tupac, I'm a big fan for Tupac. A lot of people don't know what he stood for. A lot of people judge him. Like, when they made the movie about his life, I did not like that. Because they made him look like a thug and a gangster more than what he really stood for. I'm a big, big, big fan of Tupac. And I love his music. But it's also not a love, I'm also not in love with the music. I'm in love with the man of who he was and how he stood, you know? A lot of people looked at him as a uh, as a thug and didn't really know he had a good heart. Tupac did a lot for the community and for his people and for what we stood for and what he standed for as a person. A lot of people looked at... It's like the saying goes, don't judge a book by its cover. They saw him as a thug, so they judged him because he looked like a thug. But they didn't really got to know the real man, the myth, the legend, which is Tupac and what he stood for. I'm a big fan of Tupac. If you don't know, in my room right there, when you walk into my room, the first thing you see is a big poster of Tupac praying. And then my friend Danielle, who's an artist in Baja, California, she painted me a picture, right, a mural right there of Tupac in my, in my room where he's sitting like this. I have five t-shirts of Tupac. You don't understand what that man did for his community and what he stood for. He had a good heart. A lot of people judged him because he was a thug or he looked like a thug because of the way he acted. The saying goes, don't judge a book by its cover. We're all not perfect. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes in my life every day. But the thing is, when you make a mistake in your life, it takes a real man to admit when he's wrong. Okay, I made a mistake in my life. I'm sorry. I apologize. Let me, forgive me. Let me learn from my mistake and be a better man for you. And that's what Tupac did. A lot of people, don't, they don't want to do that, judge that or look at that as a person. They always saw him as a thug. Or what he said wrong on TV. Oh, Tupac said this. Tupac said that. Tupac was bad. They never gave him a shot to show who he really was. And real, in real life, the people who know him, his real friends, like uh, Jaina Pickett-Smith, was his best friend. And who, who says guys and girls can't be friends? Jaina Pickett-Smith was Tupac's best friend. They had love for one another and respect for one another, but they were his best friends. And they knew she knew him very well, and he knew her very well. They had love and respect for each other both, but they were best friends. And that's the thing. People don't realize how what Tupac stood for. And in the movie, in the movie, it made me mad because they made it look, they made them look like a couple. And they weren't a couple. They were just best friends. And it's it's you don't know what they really what the really thing was. And that's what Janet, uh this is what Janet Pickett Smith says too in the background. She didn't like it about the movie because they made him look like a thug, they made him look like a this and that, and they didn't speak on how the relationship of theirs really was. So Tupac was a great person. You just got to understand what he was and what he stood for. And if you can find his autobiographies, they talk a lot about the good things he done for the community. And a lot of people just make him seem like a thug, but he's not. So if you know you don't know the real man Tupac and what he stood for and what the, he represented, don't judge a man. So I have a lot of respect for love for Tupac. Your boy went to the Ross Boss. The reason why I'm talking about this movie, Poetic Justice, if you haven't seen it and you haven't paid your respects to seeing that movie, run down to your local Ross Boss like your boy did, J Sneaker Squad, and cop your Poetic Justice t-shirt. My bad. Cop your Poetic Justice, cop your poetic justice t-shirt. Tupac, Sneaker Gang Squad, MSRP of this t-shirt is $7. $7. It's a must cop. If you're a fan of the movie, fan of Janet Jackson, fan of Tupac Shakur, what he stood for for this movie, Poetic Justice, 
It's a must cop in, in your collection. I'm telling you guys, must cop in your collection. All right, guys, let's get to the heat, what we all been waiting for. Now, sell VIV Puma Fords. Sell VIV Puma Fords. Original price on these sneakers. You can run down to the Puma store in San Marco outlet store and pay $74.99 for the MSRP. Sell VIV Puma Fords. $74.99. Original MSRP of the sneakers. Now, your boy J Sneaker Squad looks for steals and deals. That's what we look for on this channel, steals and deals. Now, say you got a hot date coming up this Saturday. Say you're going out with the fellas. Say you're going out to pay that car payment. Say you got bills coming up this week. Say you got family coming over for a big barbecue this weekend. Say you're doing... Taxes this weekend. Say you want to buy them new rims for your car. Say you want to buy a new chain for next weekend. Going out with the fellas. Say you're going to buy a new watch next weekend. Say you got new bracelets coming up you want to buy. Got to fix the lenses on your glasses. You don't know why. Want to save that little extra cash? That's what we do on this channel. Teach you how to save that extra cash. But if you got that money and you want to spend that money, go ahead and spend the original price on the Cell VIV Fords. $74.99. But if you want to go do what your boy did, Jay Sneaker Squad, look for steals and deals like we do on this channel. Run down to Academy like I did and spend $49.99 on the Cell VIV Fords. Pumas. Sneakers. Now they come in different colorways. They come in yellow and white. White and beige. Black, red, and beige. Uh, black and blue, and then all red. There's so many different colorways, and there's so many great sizes. Yes, they have sizes, Sneaker Gang Squad. They have some up to size 6, all the way to size 14. 6 and 14. They had come in so many different colorways. There are so many different ways for the women and the men and the ladies. And they don't have them for kids, but they only have them for men, women, and ladies. Now, it is a Puma tennis shoe, like I said. Ooh, your boy Jay-Z and his lovely lady on his arm, Beyonce, are doing big things for the brand Puma. It's still expanding. Still doing great things for the brand Puma. They got uh, the young athlete rookie of the year, LaMelo Ball. Signed with the brand Puma. You got Kyle Kuzma. Will he still be at the Lakers? Signed to the brand Puma. Danny Green for the 76ers. Signed with Puma. You got Patty Mills. Signed with Puma. You also got Demarcus Cousins. Signed with the brand Puma. So many NBA stars are going with the brand Puma. Because your boy Jay-Z, Beyonce are expanding this brand. Now it's a basketball slash track shoe. You can use them for both. It's up to you how you want to use this shoe. How would you feel comfortable with? It's your choice. But it's a very comfortable shoe. Very light on the feet. I love it a lot. Great traction. It's up to you how you use this shoe. Now, I told you the colorways they have. The sizes are from 6 to 14, Sneaker Gang Squad. So whatever size you wear, feel comfortable for this shoe. I wear size 13. Like always, big foot, big guy. Okay, we got it. <laughs> now, if you are interested, let's get it to the heat. Sneaker Gang Squad, I already told you the MSRP. Let's get to the drum roll, please. Drum roll. Shoebox. Oh, the opening of the sneakers. Oh, the smell. Ah, holy grail. Let's get to it. The Cell V.I.V. Fords for Puma. Bam! Woo! Check out the heat, baby. We back doing it again. Oh, no. This is just a side part view. See? Lice rubbery plastic. Very comfortable support 
for the ankles. Yes, very nice. You got your netting right here for your feet so your feet can stay fresh if you got sweaty feet. But I don't got sweaty feet, so I'm good. <laughs> don't got that problem. But bam, you kick it to the other side. You got the Puma logo right here. You got your laces to lace up. You can tie them up, pull them back, tuck them in. Still look good. Wear it with jeans, joggers, or style it out. And you got the air pocket bubble of Puma, which is very beautiful color. The brand Puma, because Jay-Z does his thing. Great shoe. Very comfortable. Very bendable, like a sock. Flexible. Reason why I like it. Good for running. Very light. Not heavy. Good for basketball, good for running, good for the track. It's up to you how you use this shoe. I'm using them for going out. Don't use them for running. But there's both of them. Let me get them both. Puma. Sell VIB Pumas. If you're interested, here's how they look on this side. This is how they look on the other side. Up to you how you want this shoe. It's up to you in the colorway you want. They have it in all white, which the whole shoe will be white, and this color will be yellow. The other colorway they have, the whole shoe will be gray, and this part right here will be blue. The other shoe colorway they have, the all shoe will be uh, black, all black, and these parts right here will be red, and then right here will be like a brownish beige color. And then they have this colorway, and they have the regular black colorway. It's up to you what kind of colorway you want to support this shoe. Sell VIB Ford Pumas. It's up to you. It's a must cop, Sneaker Gang Squad. Remember, MSRP, if you want to pay this price and you have the extra cash to su support this shoe, you can go ahead to the Puma Outlet Store in San Marcos and pay $74.99. But if you want to save money, like your boy does, J Sneaker Squad, and still look good with these shoes on your feet, you run down to the local academy and spend $49.99. Save money, because that's what we do on this channel. We look for steals and deals. Must cops, think again, squad. Sell VIB Ford Pumas. Put them on your feet. Look well and stun on people and say, yeah, Puma, Jay-Z, doing his thing. Now, if you like today's show, Sneaker Gang Squad, I'm great to feel great to be back. If you like today's show, please click this video for a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that little bell for little bell for notification to help me out and to let you know when I post up another video. But it is so good to be back, Sneaker Gang Squad. I am so happy to support, bring out the heat again for you guys on this video. Don't forget next week, Sunday. Not one, not two, not three, not four. Well, not four, not five, but six. Six pairs of sneakers on this channel. A sneaker squad exclusive. I'll bring my boy, my cousin, Jay, Johnny, on this channel. We're going to bring some heat, baby. Some heat y'all have never seen of sneakers on this channel. So, special guest next weekend, next Sunday, Jay, Johnny, my cousin, Bringing the heat. Shout out to my boy Aaron on the back of the camera. Doing his thud thizzle thing. Thank you, E. It's good to have you back, bro. Nothing but love. We are gonna make big history on this Sneaker Squad channel next Sunday. Shout out to the Sneaker Gang Squad. For those of y'all who've been rocking with me since the beginning, I want to say thank you for all the love and support. Let's get these videos. The vacay video is up from my trip. Hope you guys like it. Keep on watching them. If you want to get those views up, do your thing and watch those videos. I also have the Space Jam video up. It has 252 views. Sneaker Gang Squad, let's get that up to 1K. Please do your thing and get it up to 1K. The DrippyLockers.com video is at 150, 145. If we can get it up to 200, Let's do it, Sticker Gang Squad. I have a feeling we could do this. We are a great team because the heat don't stop on this channel. We do great things. But if you guys love the vacation video, thanks for all the love. Good views, good bad vibes. But other than that, I'm still learning process. But thank you for your love and support on this channel. For those of y'all who are new to the Sneaker Gang Squad family, welcome 
to the Sneaker Gang Squad team. I'm your captain and your man and your boy, Jay Sneaker Squad. We talk about shoes on this channel. We talk about clothing line on this channel. We talk about sports, Rama, Billia on this channel. And we talk about cooking. I'm your boy, Jay Sneaker Squad. Thank you for joining me for this video. I'll catch y'all next Sunday. Number love. Peace, man.